People lying to you. The food may look good, but the facts will gross you out. What would happen to foods in the bakery that had passed their best before date? If it wasn't selling, we would cut the cake in half, like this, and then each half would be packaged on its own, and each of the halves would have a new best before date put on it. How long did those sit out? They actually had stickers on them for about two more weeks. And then what would happen? After a couple of weeks, if it still hadn't sold, we would actually replace that sticker with the new one, so that's two additional weeks on top of the two weeks, on top of the weeks that it's spent in the display case. Cake tarts in the display case, we would take them and we would scrape off the fruit as it, as it got, older, got older or less, less desirable looking, looking or moldy, or moldy. we would just we retop it, re it with new fruit. What did you what do, did you with, do with, meat with meat that was passed its best before, before day? day? Something like Something this, they would take the dip it in blood, dab a little bit, you can see it looks a lot redder. We've got some marinated drumsticks here. Why is stuff marinated? Uh, things uh, get marinated, high the odor, and if there are any dark spots, dark spots or, or, whatever, or whatever, to mask, to mask that, that and then put it in. Put it in. Is, this Is this label lying, lying to you? To you? The f the f Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Yahweh I'm going to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and Ruwell. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. No, it's in the gospel, but I lift up the standard of how I should how shy Reverend may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson through the spirit. Of course, would it be edifying uh, as we see grocery stores selling what they call expired meat? It makes a lot of sense, too, man, because a lot of the things we get in a store have what they call preservatives, forever chemicals, pesticides, insecticides, from the fruits to the vegetables being coated with particular chemicals. To, Forever chemicals that your body can't necessarily process, and then years down the line, you end up with infectious diseases, man. And then you're spending all your hard on money paying for insurance to, to, to keep you in a medical institution that's gonna do anything, that's not gonna do nothing but, but keep you dependent on their medicine until you wither away. And this is why we tell you that Babylon the Great, man, is, is really a, it's really hell for the Israelites, man. Okay, and not only the Israelites. This man is putting hell on his own people, which, you know, we don't really care too much about that because, hey, you know, that's Esau. It's unfortunate for you people that you're under a wicked ruler, but our people in general, man, we need to be delivered. You know, because when you think about all the food you're eating and you're thinking about the preservatives and how this guy Kill Gates is buying up all his farmland, he's invested in a potato. OK, he's now invested in Bragg's apple cider vinegar. <laughs> As if the Heinz brand wasn't worse enough. This man has to be stopped, man. Okay? Scriptures say of no flesh. Uh, scriptures say uh, for the elect's sake, those days will cut short. But uh, uh, if that wasn't the case, no flesh will be saved. You know, because um, shit, you go to the store, you look at particular ingredients. You got five, six different ingredients in a particular food. You probably don't want to eat it. You know, or everything got soy in it. Which soy is known to uh, de or deplete testosterone in men. You know, soy products, glycogen and all that other stuff, man, it, it causes health deficiencies in Jake, man, and people in general, but our systems in particular. Okay, these Franken foods and these forever foods have been designed to, to really destroy Jake. This is why when you grow up in cities like Chicago, you know, Philly, you have fast food restaurants literally on every strip of the way. You know, from eating gyro meat to hot dogs to pizza, which all that stuff is, is pretty good. It's tasty. But when you think about it, like, wait a minute, man. I know these fucking people ain't slaughtering lambs like that in the back. Like, ain't that, much, ain't that many lamb in the world? You know, so when you get into, like, the meats, it's basically like scraps of beef, chicken, sometimes pork, you know, fat, all this stuff, man. And then later on down the line, you, you got weight on you you can't seem to get rid of, man. You know, or you have some type of digestive issue. So all this is a combination of the the, 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 the chemicals we've been bombarded with, the water we've been drinking, the water we're taking baths in. We're literally under attack. Okay, the lady told you straightforward. Like, that's why, like, you go to, like, a mainstream grocery store. I don't go near the fucking bakery, man. You know, there'd be some shit over there I'd be looking at. I'm like, damn, that cheesecake look good. Uh, chocolate cake. 
But find out what they did. They took half a cake and they cut it in half and they put two different dates on it, man. And they put certain things on it to keep it fresh, you know, which is like, what the hell? Like, what what, what, what simulation are we living in? Okay. And um, <clears throat> another thing, too, you know, your brothers get in the habit of uh, cooking your own food, man. Learning how to cook certain things, you know, even if it's just, you know, things like quinoa, like organic shit. You know, you want to find things with as less ingredients as possible, you know. So going to Whole Foods and, you know, going to like the so-called organic out, even though all the shit is poison, but, you know, you get the best of the worst, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You get the things with the less preservatives in it, you know, because ain't no way in hell that food that's supposed to be so-called organic is lasting you two weeks. The, the fresh it is, the quicker it's going to go bad. You know, because foods are not supposed to have preservatives in it. You know, like when Gadite dealt with buffalo and, and they dealt with like certain meats of buffalo, they dealt with the bison and things like that. They had ways of preserving these things, man. You know, they have bury them. You know what I'm saying? They have freeze them out and certain parts of the animal they would turn into like coats. You know, and what they couldn't eat, they just dispose of if they fed a village. So it's just like Today, you you have a goddamn a, a slab of ground beef, man, that can last you for two weeks. Like, wait a minute, man. What are you putting in this stuff? You know, and another thing, too, ground beef is not supposed to be pink. Okay? Beef is not. That's that's a chemical, like a dye they put on it. We know it as uh, what they call uh, pink slime, but it's like a particular dye they put on it to preserve the meat's freshness, man. Okay? When a lot of times that uh, that meat ain't even fresh. You know, so brothers has got to be hella careful on what you're putting in your body, even though you can't really avoid it all. You just got to do the best way you can, man, because literally this man is, is he wants to kill us. OK, like they say, shit, this food is banned in 180 countries. You know, you can't go to Canada or you can't go to uh, parts of Europe and, you know, different demographics and so forth and, and get fucking M&Ms or get Heinz ketchup, which ketchup is not necessarily uh, 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 a bad food when it's processed completely or processed right. But like here in America, man, they have like five different ingredients. Like, why do you need to put extra sugar in ketchup? The only thing you need is like distilled vinegar, tomatoes, and like brown or maple sugar, man, or brown sugar. You know what I'm saying? And that goes your ketchup there. Spices. Instead, he wants to put sugar in everything. That's what it says. High fructose corn syrup. That's another way of saying added sugar. And we know that that sugar causes cancer. And what feeds on cancer? Sugar. Sugar or cancer feeds on sugar. You know, you're supposed to get your, your, your artif not just artificial or synthetic sugar. You should be get your natural sugars from like your fruits and your vegetables, your juices. Like if you juice pomegranates, which is good for blood, or you're juicing oranges and apples and Watermelons, like I like to juice the brine out of watermelon. That's like the most um, medicinal part. But overall, when you're juicing your, your berries and smoothies and stuff, that's where you get your fruit juices from or your sugars from. Like a lot of times people complain about eating bananas as too brown when they're ripe. But that's really when the sugars are released into the banana and you get your natural supply of sugar. OK, you want to stay away from that white shit, man. OK, which is pretty much a 95 percent of the food. All right, so this is the book of Revelation 6, and I'm going to start at verses, um, let's start at 8, 7. It says, and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. And I looked and behold a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with them. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, which is the Americas here, the, whether the Western, the Western empires, to kill with the sword and with hunger and with death. And with the beasts of the earth, man. Okay, so this man has been given the power to do just that. So uh, let's look up uh, foods that are banned in the other countries real quick. Foods that are banned in other countries. All right. It says, common U.S. foods that are banned in other countries. Let's, let's look at let's look up here. 15 American foods that are illegal in other countries. Right. It says we love these American foods, but other countries see them as dangerous. Like in certain countries, they actually put warning labels on certain foods. Like if they get a, a, a approval to sell certain foods out like from the U.S. outside of the U.S., they have to put a warning label on it. OK, like when you look at the ingredients, it's like what? This is the shit we've been consuming, man. 
It says, if you live in America, which we all do, chances are you've eaten these American foods. I mean, how do you avoid them? And that's absolutely right. You can't avoid it because this is all on your shelves. Even when you go to like authentic or like natural grocers or sprouts or uh, what's another one? Whole foods or you even shop in the organic aisles at your high V's and your uh, cub foods and your, you know, your Aldi's, which Aldi's is pretty good to go to and they have decent ingredients. But when you go to these mainstream stores like Walmarts and, you know, Targets and all these other mainstream stores, then this is what, you, unfortunately, this is what you're going to run into. It says food companies have made it their mission over years to sell these products with fancy marketing. Sadly, many of them, including terrible ingredients for our bodies and minds. And this is why the American population is sick. ADHD at an all time high erectile dysfunction. Uh, uh, you can't focus, man. You can't think straight. You have brain fog. And to add insult to injury, they want to put the hokey poke up in there with it <laughs> to fully uh, to pollute you, which the average person here is extremely toxic, man. All right. So it says, according to Forbes, 129 million kids worldwide from the ages of five to 19 years old have ADHD, yep, which stands for attention deficit, uh, uh, attention deficit. I, uh, uh, I forgot what the H means, but attention deficit disorder. This is what I call it. I think we all suffer from that shit. I myself suffer from ADHD. I'm noticing that it's hard for me to really sit down and read like I used to be able to. You know, I used to want to sit down and get into a good book, but I have some like like I have ten things at once I'm trying to complete, and just really all you know, just really trying to structure things. Like I want to read that book. I want to read these scriptures. I want to do a lesson. I want to watch that video. It's too much for the mind to process to the point your body just shut down. You know what I'm saying? And that's a problem I, str I struggle with. Like, okay, I want to read five chapters in the scriptures. I want to get into some stranger research. I want to get the book Apostle Tahar is talking about, but it's just like, it's so much to do. And then on top of this, being in this system, being poisoned by the pollutants, it's like, like, we got to get out of here already, man. You know? But it says, between ADHD and the food that our children are eating, the Child Mind Institute conducted a study about just that which you can read about here. In a nutshell, ADHD is not caused by eating a sugary diet, but it definitely makes symptoms of the ADHD and other behavioral issues in children worse. Okay, and you know what's so fucked up about it? They have all this, what they call Child Mind Institute. Oh, we want to combat this and help the kids, but yet yeah, you are the fucking corporations that is promoting unclean foods. Food is supposed to be a medicine, man. If you want to help people heal, mentally or bodily you have to it's the diet they say food is supposed to be your medicine ain't no way in hell i should go eat a goddamn hamburger and it's gonna give me fucking crohn's disease man or gout or gallbladder problems or GERD, man like what the fuck like in the back in the day you eat a good bison burger bison meat is supposed to be rich in omega-3 fatty acids man that's good for processing digestion and omega-3 helps to kill cancer off like, what the fuck, man? You can't even go get a decent hamburger or a steak without going to the emergency room in two weeks after. And let's not get into the damn alcohol, man. It's like, shit. You know? But anyway, your food is illegal. 15 American foods that are banned in other countries. So let's see what the list says. Why clean your fruits and veggies? It says, before we break down these 15 foods that are illegal in other countries, why is it important to buy organic and clean your fruits and vegetables. It says, according to EWG's 2022 Shopper's Guide, to pesticides to produce, more than 90% of samples of strawberries, apples, cherries, spinach, nectarines, grapes, test the positive for residues of two or more pesticides. Yep. Kale, collard greens, and mustard greens, as well as hot peppers and bell peppers, had the most pesticide detected. 103 and 101 pesticides in total respectively so wash your fruits and veggies because the long-term effects of pesticides can be harmful okay uh 15 foods that are banned in other countries that the u.s still sells in stores twinkies <laughs> twinkies boy that shit used to make my throat itch but it says high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated oils are bad but this is yellow number five that signed a death warrant on twinkies wow the eu requires warning labels on artificial dyes Countries like Austria, Finland, and Norway don't even take the chance of putting Twinkies on their shelves, man. Read about yellow number five diet. They have horrible health effects. Yep. And guess what? We've all grew up on this shit. Cuba powder chicken broth. Breakfast cereals. Like, man, Jake used to eat the shots and Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes and uh, Fruity Pebbles. 
Godly. Jello, yep. Gelatin, Kool Aid, pasta, pancake mix, frosting, pickles, macaroni and cheese, creamy orange cheeses, yogurt, butter and margarine, ice cream, <laughs> popsicles, mini sodas, alcohol mixers, some beers, box dinners such as cheese flavored rice or pasta, flavored milk or orange colored chips. Goddamn. <laughs> Shit, this man is really. This man is a devil, bro. Straight up, man. Uh. Uh, herb for the service of men. Service men. This is how I died. Look, look, man. This is the book of uh, Psalms 104, and I'm going to start at 14. It says, He calls it a grass to grow for the cattle, an herb for the service of men, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. That's your real definition of organic. Organic simply means from the earth. Everything around you is technically organic as everything comes out of the earth. Everything, man, okay? From your, your fucking your food to your, your couch to everything is, is it's everything is organic. Everything comes from the earth. Period. You know, some form of fashion. Okay, but these foods they're creating right in the middle of a damn laboratory. Like here they will go and, and clone a chicken or a bison or a buffalo. They will kill the real thing and clone it just to make artificial meat. Instead of giving you the real thing. It's like, come on. And then he comes up with this whole concept where we have to euthanize all the cattle because they're pooting too much. They're throwing up. They're spitting. They're farting. They're pissing and shitting. Natural, you know, life cycle. Natural things that we all do as living beings, man. You know what I'm saying? Before you know it, we got to kill off the fish. The fish are pissing in the lake. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know? But it says he calls it a grass to grow for the cattle and the earth for the service of men that he may bring forth food out of the earth. It says, and wine that make it glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengthen a man's heart, man. Okay, and that's the point. We supposed to have food that's sufficient for the body. Okay, you shouldn't feel like you're getting ready to drop dead after you eat a goddamn hamburger, man, or a piece of pizza. It says, the trees of the Lord are full of sap and cedars of Lebanon, which he had planted. Okay, like when you go into the tree sap, you go into uh, like the, uh, like uh, they got what they called uh, from pine trees. You got. Uh, like the uh, the pine, the sap. It's like a sticky substance. When we were kids, we used to call it poison because we didn't know no better. But it actually illuminates, not illuminates, but it actually uh, activates the uh, the oxygen from the tree and it lets off a smooth, a smelly good scent, man. You know, this is where you get your your, your colognes and your perfumes and your incense and stuff like that. They uh, It comes from a, a form of sap. Like cologne is nothing more but sap, but they replicated the, the the flavor or the the smell or the fragrance of it and made it you know out of artificial means so to speak you know what i'm saying this is what they do like they have food scientists they go and they get the actual strand and they take the flavor and they they, they put it into a chemical and they put it in your food man and before you know it, you have something which tastes sweeter tastes like a like a, a piece of fruit but it's not really fruit you see, and your body is not digesting it. This is why down the line you become diabetic, man. You know? This is why this man got to get taken out of power, bro. This dude is... is This this dude is... is he's, he's through, man. Uh, you know, like when you look at white bread, that's nothing but, but fucking bleach. Bleach and sugars and... You know, just bad carbs, man. This is why you stay away from white bread. Like, we've got in the habit of making my own. Like, you know, I got flour, like wheat flour or like a organic flour, you know, and uh, make, have my little my, my grape seed oils and stuff like that, man. And add a little yeast here and there. But overall, I try to stay away from that yeast shit. You know, especially when you haven't eaten it in a while. It looks strange, but can't have too much of it. But it was a scripture in the apocrypha I wanted to get. Uh, dainties, oh yeah, the scriptures go into dainties. Uh, so there's no see dainties. Meats. Uh, yep, right here. Yep, uh, yep, Sirach. It says, uh, the belly devour all meat, yet one meat is better than the other. Yeah, going into the... Yep, Sirach 37. Yep, Sirach 37. 
And I'm going to start at verses uh, 8. Whole chapter is good, but I want to start at verses 28. It says, For all things are not profitable for all men, neither have every soul pleasure in every living thing. Certain things like certain foods, brothers may not, you know, one brother may be able to eat that, but that brother may not be able to eat it, even if it is lawful. Your body's rejecting it, you know, and this is just to anything. Like certain brothers can't drink, certain brothers can drink because certain brothers may have like a, you know what I'm saying, like a gluten intolerance, like a lot of alcohol sometimes have like yeast and shit in it, you know, but it says, be not unsightable in any dainty thing, nor too gritty upon meats, for excess of meats brings sickness. And surfing would turn into a quota, and by surfing, many perish. But he that take it, he prolongeth his wife, man. Okay. Uh, look up the word surfing real quick. Surfing Bible definition. Yep. Surfing says, as to have the heart overcharged with surfing and drunkenness. Is a very ruinous, destructive sin when it concerns want to take heed. All right, so intoxication or overindulge is meaning not a balance. If this is all you're eating, then you have to balance that out. If you're drinking seven days a week, it's probably not wise to do it. You know, and uh, brothers over the years have had, you know, we've, you know, come across and throughout the body that certain men had a problem with drinking. You know what I'm saying? And it caused the demons to, to, to kind of activate within individuals. But it says, and take heed to yourself. That's any time your heart to be overcharged with surfing. Okay, it means overindulgence. So these foods here, you definitely can't overindulge in these shits. Even though they may be good, they taste good. Overall, this is not really nothing wise to really put in your body. Though that you can't really avoid the shit. Okay, stove top stuffing. A combo of beta hydroxy acid. BHA. Wow. How in the hell? And this is what Big Pharma and Monsanto, they get away with these big corporations. And then, you know, like uh, going into the show called Painkillers, you had what they call the Sacklers. Hey. Hey, they got immunity from this, man. Okay, they just put out some disclaimer. Well, look, if you take this medication, it can give you that side effect, that side effect. And they can get off by saying, well, look, we told you. <laughs> but they don't give the people the option of any of the alternative healing. You know, they say, well, look, you take the medication or you're going to get sick and die. No, it's way the Lord created urge for all these things. But it says in bulleted hydroxyline BHT, take this off the menu in Japan and UK and many European countries. It says you can read about the effect of BHA. It says BHA can be found in the following foods, products. BHA is added to butter, lard, meats, cereals, baked goods, sweets, beer, vegetable oils, potato chips, snack foods, nuts and nut products, dehydrated potatoes and flavoring agents. Okay, it says BHTs can be found in the following products, chewing gum, active dry yeast, frozen convenience foods, prepared cereal products, prepared snacks, dried and processed meats, potato flex, and rich rice and product shortening. God damn, Jake. This is all the shit Jake likes to eat. Okay, coffee made coffee creamer, hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oils, got coffee made it banned in Austria, Hungary, and several Scandinavian countries. It says hydrogenated soybean oil can be found in food products such as margarine, fried foods, baked goods, coffee creamers, crackers, pre-made dough, vegetable shortened, microwave popcorn, potato chips, packaged snack. Cottonseed oil can also be found in these products such as potato chips, cookies and crackers, margarine, mayonnaise, and salad dressing. Ritz crackers. We love Ritz. Okay. Skittles. Yellow number five and yellow number six. And I said earlier, U.S. pork. Yeah, of course, pork should be banned everywhere. It says, it says ractopamine is an animal feed additive used in U.S. pigs and is linked to several major health issues in humans and animals. U.S. pork is banned in China, Russia, and the EU. Even beef is starting to be banned in these other countries. It says, it says uh, ractopamine is an active ingredient in products marketed in the U.S. as pilling for swine, optoflex for cattle, and top max for turkeys. Prepackaged ground beef. <laughs> The pink slime that you find in a prepackaged beef is a beef byproduct prepared with ammonia gas and used as a filler in U.S. ground beef. U.S. beef is banned in the EU. I'm wondering, hey. Ground beef, cleaning products, craft foods, uh, turn milk into cheese, think Velveeta. Ammonia gas is wild. Swiss rolls. Was it Marachino cherries? 
Red number 40, wow. And guess what? All these for contributing to your childhood. Yep, all these foods we've had. We've had hamburger helper. We've had that salad dressing. We had Hershey's. We drunk crushed pop. Benadryl. We had the Mott's applesauce, Powerade. We had Welch's, Pop-Tarts, Hawaiian Punch. We've had the microwavable uh, waffles. We had the Flintstone gummy vitamins. We had the Doritos, Jelly. Everything on this list. We've. I guarantee you every brother in some form or fashion, we've all ate this shit. Even into our adult years. You know, farm salmon, yeah, I don't do that anymore. U.S. milk, yeah, cow milk, which RGB, RGBH is also known as RBST, is a man-made growth hormone fed to dairy cows to boost milk production. U.S. milk is banned in Japan, Canada, New Zealand, Austria, and the EU. Always buy organic when it comes to milk, and if you can locally source your milk from local farms, even better. Okay, you don't want cow's milk. They took all the, 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 the additives out of it. Mountain Dew, which I don't drink that shit. U.S. chicken, wow. U.S. chicken is banned in the EU because it is washed with chlorine. Tch. American chicken processors do it to protect consumers from foodborne diseases. It says chlorine can be found in food products such as tomatoes, celery, olives, lettuce, and seaweed. It is also found in many canned vegetables due to salt added to help preserve them. Ham, bacon, corned beef, organ meat, salami, sausage, prawns, canned tuna, scallops, canned salmon, raw oysters, mussels, lobster, crab, cod, milk, chocolate, toffee, peanut butter, canned soups, tomato sauce, mayonnaise, French dressing, dried coconut, roasted and salted peanuts, scrambled eggs, and many baked goods. We can't eat shit. <laughs> like, what can you really eat here, man? That's why we got to get the hell out of here, Jake, man. We got to we gotta get the hell out of here, man. This is... This is not living. We're literally dying, man. You know? Let me get the book of Psalms 23. 23, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 4. It says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy wrath and thy staff to comfort me, man. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. And this is why you have to constantly pray over your food. You got to pray. You got to pray, 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 man. I mean, you gotta like become a, a you gotta become a prayer con. You have to literally be a walking prayer, man. From walking outside, living in your own apartment is killing you, man. The asbestos. A lot of these apartments that's built like uh, prior to the sixties or around the sixties, they'll give you a disclaimer when you when you move in, and they say, "Well, look, you know these apartments are old. You know they were born in the sixties. They may contain lead or asbestos in the paint, and you're breathing these things, and you're literally dying." It's like, damn, how long? Yeah, how about you, man? How was shy, man? You know, but the scriptures also tells us that um, no deadly thing. Uh, we should eat poison and live. Matter of fact, let me find that. Uh, I think that's Luke 10 and 19. Yep. This is the book of uh, Luke 10, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 18. It says, And he said it to them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. But behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means shall hurt you. OK, and that's the point. It also goes into as well that we should eat any deadly thing, poison and eating poison to live and no deadly thing will hurt us, even though we are being affected by it. But we have the power to endure and to the coming of Yahweh Shai, man, because we have a purpose to be alive, which is to teach the word. All right. This is the book of Matthew 24. And I'm going to start at verses um, 21. It says, For then should be great tribulation, such it was not since the beginning of the world, no, to this time, no ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days are being shortened. This is why the Lord has to speed the time up. Because clearly, man, if we was to live a long, drawn out life, most of us wouldn't make it to the age of 50. And I'm just being honest with you. Okay, they said that life expectancy has... Uh, decreased, man. Okay, within the last 20 some plus years, life expectancy has decreased on all levels. The average life expectancy may be 60 if you're lucky. <laughs> and I'm just being real. You know, because people are sick, man, especially with all this new shit they got going on. It just adds insult to injury. And uh, I'll get one more precept. This is the book of Ezekiel, the fourth chapter. We all know this by heart, 4 and 13. Uh, well, it started 9 to file bread. It says, Take thou also unto thee wheat. And barely in beans and lentils and millet. Okay, like you had what they called uh, 
the Daniel fast, okay? When Daniel basically did a like a plant based plant plant based diet, you know, and, and fasting, and you had what they call the king's meat, which the king's meat, you know, was basically a bunch of abominable foods, man. A lot of meats, you know, a lot of cheeses and all these things, which meat and cheese are not necessarily wicked. But like we read, the um, surfing, the definition of surfing, means to be overindulgent in a particular aspect. OK, and it says and mill it and fitches and put them in one vessel and make the bread thereof <laughs> according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. Three hundred and ninety days shall thou eat thereof. And thy meat, which thou shalt eat, should be by weight. Twenty shekels a day, from time to time, thou shalt eat it. And thou shalt also drink water by measure. And the sixth part of a hen, from time to time, thou shalt drink. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And thou shalt bake it with dung that coming out of the men in their sight. Basically shit. And the Lord say, even thus says the children of Israel, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether thou would drive them. So he had Ezekiel to do this, to be a representation as to what we were going to go through in the latter time. And then he said, I, O Lord, Yahweh, behold, my soul have not been polluted. For from my youth up even to now, I have not eaten that which died of itself or is torn in pieces. Neither came their abominable flesh into my mouth. And he said it to me, lo, I have given thee cow's dung for men's dung. <laughs> it's still crap, though. It doesn't, it's still bad. And thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. And moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they should eat bread by weight and with care, and they should drink water by a measure and with an astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be astonished one with another and consume away for their iniquity. So this is all a punishment. Okay, to the point the foods you're eating is definitely killing us, man. But I'm going to end it there, giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And with that, Shalom.